This is a Pile of Rocks production. Confining pressure. Have you ever thought about being under one atmosphere of pressure? What is that pressure like? Not much because we've got the same pressure inside as outside. So let's take some of the inside pressure away. We start with a soda can, an aluminum can, and we put it on some heat. Now, warming the can is going to heat up the air. As the air heats, it expands. As it expands, it leaves the can. I'm going to help it out a little bit by adding just a teaspoon of water and bringing that water up to a boil. When I do, the water vapor will get rid of some of the air inside the can, replacing the air with the water vapor. Of course, it takes a little while to boil, so I had to pause and take a little time and make some time go by. Well, it still wasn't quite hot enough, so I had to add a little uh, blowtorch action here, get it, he get it heated up. Yes, indeed, now it's hot. We see it steaming and boiling, and now the air inside has been replaced with water vapor. What happens if I condense that water vapor back down 750 times less size instantly? Just drop the can in a little bit of cold water, upside down, of course, and watch what happens. Kaboom! Yes, the atmosphere pressed in on that can and caused it to collapse. That's the idea of confining pressure inside of the earth and with rocks. This was only one atmosphere of pressure. Imagine what 300 or 400 atmospheres of pressure would be like. This is B.H. Nellings for Science Shorts.